الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد. So today we're going to talk about something very very important that I think we began to talk about before, but this is to get our deeds accepted. This is the two things that we need to have in place if we want our deeds accepted. So it means if we want our prayer accepted by Allah, these two deeds have to be, these two uh, conditions have to be in place. If we want to fast, we fast for who? Who do we Allah. fast for? Allah. For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We fast to please Allah because it's an obligation as Allah says in the Quran, kutiba, kutiba alaykum siyam. That fasting is prescribed for you just like it was prescribed for the people before you. So meaning Allah made fasting an obligation. So the two things that if we want our worship, our ibadah to be accepted by Allah, these two things are, the first thing is, is that we have ikhlas lillah. We do it for the sake of Allah. Sincerity to Allah. That means when we pray, we pray for the sake of Allah. We pray to Allah how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to pray. Okay? So the first condition is ikhlas or sincere, sincerity. So it's sincerity to Allah. Do you understand sincerity? What that means? It means only for Allah. Okay? وَمَا أُمِرُوا إِلَى لِيَعْبُدُ اللَّهَ مُخْلِسِينَ Uh-huh. So Allah said, مُخْلِسِينَ Mukhlisin means ikhlas, that you do it for Allah. You do, that means you pray, وَمَا أُمِرُوا إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُ اللَّهِ That means your worship is for Allah only. So that's the first condition, is that what you're doing is for Allah. The second condition is that you do it, your, your worship, according to the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Wasallam. Whose sunnah do we follow, uh, Sana? The Prophet Wasallam. So that means when we pray, we pray to Allah like the Prophet Wasallam, And then our, our, uh, our prayer will be accepted. So our salat is like who? It's like who's salat? The Prophet Wasallam, And it is to who? To Allah. To Allah. Allahu Akbar. That's it. Every aspect of worship in, in Islam, it has to have those two conditions. If you fast, you fast to Allah or, or for Allah, and you follow the fasting of the Prophet Muhammad wasallam. If you pray, you pray to Allah, and you follow and do the prayer like the Prophet wasallam prayed. If you make hajj, you make Hajj for Allah, and you follow the Hajj the way who did it? The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alaihi wasallam. That's everything in in Islam. Everything in our worship, it has to have those two things. The first thing is sincerity to Allah, and the second thing is that it follows the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alaihi wasallam. So, what are those two things? The first thing. No, the first thing, any worship, it has to do, it has to have these two pillars. It has to have what? It has to be? To, for the sake of Allah, Naam, and the second? To follow the Prophet. To follow the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam. Everything, every kind of action we do, every kind of worship that we do to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it has to have those two conditions. We can't, we can't pray to a new Qibla. We can't pray to someone else even if we are doing the actions like the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu It won't be accepted. Nor can we pray to Allah but it's not like the way the Prophet Sallallahu prayed. We can't do that. We can't say, oh, I'm going to pray three rakats, rakats for, uh, uh, for Fajr. No, because the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi prayed how many? He prayed two rakats. Rakatain uh, of Fajr. So that's why we're, we have to do it for Allah and how the Prophet ﷺ did it. We can't say, oh, I worship, uh, I'm going to go to the grave and, and pray to this righteous person. Why? Even 
Be, for why? For two, both reasons. For one, if you pray to someone else, then that means you're not worshiping Allah. So that means you miss the first condition. Because everything we do is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the second condition there, that you're not following the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa because the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa didn't go to the graves of the other prophets. Alayhim after salatu wa salam. He didn't go to the graves of the righteous people and pray to them. He never asked dead people. He never asked dead people, nor did he say the other prophets are alive, so I'm going to pray to them. Abedin, no. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam prayed only to Allah. He didn't pray to the saints. He didn't say that we need to uh, make shafa'ah with the saints or make shafa'ah with the other prophets. He didn't say we need to ask them to help us. He said, no, that when you make dua, a dua hu ibadah, that dua supplication is ibadah, it is worship, meaning that we supplicate only to Allah. Verily Allah doesn't love that you worship anyone with Him. And, and He doesn't accept that you worship anyone from uh, any, any worship besides worshiping Him. And He doesn't forgive that you commit shirk with Him. But He forgives any other sin as He pleases if you die upon it. If you die upon shirk and kufr and disbelief in Allah then you'll be in the hellfire forever. وَعِيَاذٍ billah. So again, all of our deeds have to be based on those two things. All of our worship has to be based on those two things. The first one being sincerity to Allah. And the second one is that we follow the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us with ikhlas, with a bat ala sunnah to Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala Nabi Muhammad.